Hey everyone, Chris Gambin here for thefootballographer.com, and today I'm showing you guys the beta version of Camera Bag 2.0. This is a, another form, oh, sorry, this is another editing software. It's different than Photoshop, it's different than Lightroom. Kind of leans more towards Lightroom in terms of usability, but I'm going to show you guys a really, really quick demo of it. So first off, in your, once it's loaded up, as you see right here, I'm going to choose load an image right here on the left. And believe it or not, I will be able to use my Nikon NEF files if I'd like. Um, but I'm going to choose a different photo. I don't really want to use that specific one. So let's try something else. Let's go over here. Now, these were edited before. I really, really like this photo that I shot last night, if I can find it. Uh, and I can't find it. Alright, you know what, I'm just going to choose any, you know what, I'll take this one. So it recognizes raw files as well, at least as far as I've seen. And that's really cool. And now, there we go. It's loaded up. It takes a little bit of time, but it gets done. And this little interface over here allows you to either make the image larger by dropping it down or make it a little bit smaller. And I usually like to keep it up, and you'll see why in a second. So here's another area of the editing program. You have styles over here. You have the adjust panel. You have borders. You have your favorites. And you have quick looks. Let's take a look at styles first. So this is how you begin your editing. First off, uh, when you hover over certain styles, it'll give you a little bit of a description, and it'll also give you a preview of it in a really nice big window, something much larger than what Adobe Lightroom allows you to see. I have the 1958 if I want to. I think I may go with that, but let me take a look at some of the rest. 74, uh, I don't really like that. 83, no. Looks too daft punkish to me, to be honest with you. I have Auto Chrome. I have Color Cross, which is basically like cross processing. Helga is a little weird. Uh, Hipsters cool too. I love how it says "From Brooklyn with Love," and this photo here was actually shot in Brooklyn. I have Instant. Instant's one of my favorites, actually. Italiano and Light Leak. You have quite a bit of them here, actually. Plastic is also really cool. But, oh, also, wedding will t basically take everything and make it look totally perfect, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to choose 1958, though. So I'm going to pick that, and there you go. Now you see 1958 pops up right down here in the bottom. And now I can adjust the amount of how much it affects the image. I'm going to make it go at 100%. And then you can remix it a bit. So now you're seeing that there's a little bit more contrast, and now there's less contrast, even less contrast. And I'm going to put it back to right around there. I'm going to add a little bit more contrast. Cool. Okay. Now I can choose the adjust process. So I can crop it if I want, adjust the exposure. I don't really want to do that. Um, you know, what I do want to do, though, is I want to adjust the saturation levels. So I'm just going to go right ahead and do that, make it a little bit more saturated. My problem is, though, that I'm a real manual level adjuster guy. So I'm just going to actually get rid of this saturation work that I did. So I can either turn it off like that, or I can just totally get rid of it just like that, which is really cool. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the, I believe it's the color area, yeah. And I'm going to selectively saturate certain channels. Unfortunately, like in Lightroom, you don't have the option of choosing specific uh, panels. So what I'm going to do now, sorry, choosing specific color palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose all of... Let's choose all the blue to make it really, really simple on you guys right now. And I'm going to adjust the tolerance, as you see there. See the colors warp. And now I want to adjust the saturation. And now they become super, super saturated. Let's tone that down a bit. 
There we go. I like that. What else do I want to do to this? I usually like dyeing them too. I like dyeing my images because it gives it this really, really cool look in addition to that. So now it's all the way down. And now if I dye it more, uh, that's too much. So let's go to that. I like that. I like the way that looks. There's also colorizing options, color filtering options. But then you can add other things like a vignette, you can add grain, or you can discolor it. I want to add grain because I just like the look of grain to begin with. So, but I don't want it to look like image noise. So I'm going to make these. No, that's a little too big. The grain's a little bit too big there. Okay, so now it's big and it looks nice. And I can add a discolor if I, functionality if I want to. And when I choose offset, it moves the coloring basically everywhere. But let's get rid of it a little bit. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And that should be alright, though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And now I can choose right down here an output size. I can choose, let's say I want it to be, since this image is longer on the wide side, I'm going to choose uh, 2,000 pixels on the wide side. Why not? Or I could do this maximum side is 2,000 pixels right here. Cool. Now, let's say I want to add a border. I have custom straight or I have custom rounded. I don't like those. I usually actually go with some of these. I don't really like this because it looks like the Lomography Sprocket Rocket, and I don't think any image has ever been... There's never been a good image taken with the Sprocket Rocket, in my opinion, so I don't really like that. Uh, Eroded is pretty cool. Cut is also kind of cool. Infinity 50 is alright. I mean, it will crop out a bit, but I don't really want to do that. Insta is okay, but I feel like I use it too often. So what I'm actually going to go with is... I'm going to go with Notch right here, why not? Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I dig that. That's cool. Okay, and now what I can do, I'm all done. So I'm going to go down to File, and I'm going to go to... I want to save this. So I want to click on Save, and I want to make this um, Night in... No, Night in... Brooklyn, reason why is because I can never spell Williamsburg. Night in Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it that. Night in Brooklyn. And now I can save. And now it's saved. So, there you go. That is a very quick look at Camera Bag 2.0. I'm using it on a Mac, and that's really about it. That's really all there is to it, guys. Thanks a lot. My name is, again, once again, Chris Gampett for the Take care.